Hi, my name is Ruth Bordenick, and I'm going to show you how to make some textured rollers using basic studio tools. Uh, the first thing you'll need is a canvas covered board, some roller guides, a fettling knife, and a rolling pin. You'll need to roll out a slab, fairly thick slab, thicker than you normally would. In this case, I'm using three quarter inch thick roller guides. Slab, 6 by 14 inches, 6 by 12 inches can work as well. And now we're going to take the slab outside and get some tree bark texture. Notice the grooves how they run vertically. Depending whether you put the slab vertically or horizontally, you can get the pattern to impress in different directions. Press the clay evenly everywhere. The, play is, the clay is spinning out slightly, which is why uh, we rolled out the clay much thicker than we normally would. Okay, and then we want to take our slab back inside and roll it into a cylinder. So once you have your textured slab, let's cut it back into shape. So this slab needs to be rolled into a cylinder. To attach the seams, bevel each side. That way you can make the, um, the seam a bit stronger. A little bit of slip. It's important that you get this cylinder as circular as possible. It'll roll much more easily the more round it is. And also this top edge, which can be sharp, soften it up so it doesn't leave a sharp line in the clay. I'm going to wait a little bit and then I'll work on this seam to make it disappear. Here is a bis roller of a maple tree I had made before, and I'll show you how to use it. Uh, this is a slab that will become part of a planter, and I'm marking off approximately one inch from the top. Following that line as my guide, I'm pressing the textured roller along that edge. You can see I missed a little area there. You can go back in and roll right over it. Then once you've rolled it out, you'll need to reshape it slightly because the clay tends to warp a bit. Here's an example of what you can do with these slabs. This was made from a maple tree roller. And this one is a dogwood tree texture. Another way to use a textured roller is to make a flared planter. Once you have your shape, again mark off approximately an inch from the top edge as a guide for the roller. Lining up the edge with that marked edge, Press the roller as you roll it along. If 
You can go back and roll over any missed areas. This slab I'll put into a circular shape and I'll attach the seam. Ultimately it will look like this when it's done. I made a whole bunch of these textured rollers last fall, I used them all winter. It was, it was just great having a little bit of the outdoors inside when it was so cold outside. So, before it gets cold, get on out there and make yourself some. Thanks for watching.